good time and the train's coming by. Come on, blow the horn a few more times. Well, I think he's done blowing the horn there, crossing the tracks. Uh, anyways, a couple days into the year, I'm going to do a video. Um, just a bunch of clips from last year. Some of it, of course, will have uh, the Philippines in there. There's my little man, little son right here. And the stray cat sitting here waiting to try to get in the house. No, 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 leave him alone. Don't go down there. The floor is wet, son. But um, American women versus Asian women, or at least Filipino women, anyways. My wife's great. She's wonderful. A lot of things I don't understand. It's just, you know, she has to interpret what people are actually saying to her here. But guys don't get that. And even four years we've been married, eat your peanut butter, little man. <laughs> And uh, four years though, beat the record on my last two marriages. She hasn't cheated on me either. Um, she just went to work about an hour ago. It's nice to have a car now we can get around. But uh, just watching what I see and the people and the women around here, God bless you, son. You have no socks on, go get your shoes on, son. And uh, you know, like my wife says, he or she, when she means the opposite, that's just the way it is. In the Philippines, you're not going to change that. You just need to say yes. If she says she, it's actually he. That's just the way it is. Um, there's Tampa. Me and my wife don't really fight. We have disagreements like most couples. But we don't carry on. Put them on. Sit down and put them on. Careful. Don't fall. And uh, that's just normal, What you know. I'm so used to uh, fighting for like days over stupid topics I remember in my previous marriages or relationships and uh, just ridiculous you know if you're, your Filipino wife comes here or wife to be and you want to argue about the toothpaste or something stupid or money or anything else you need to calm down bro they're, the way they think is not what we think. You don't want to be in their face. You don't want to argue with them. And uh, you just want to shut your face and let the time go by. Because if you get them really mad, they're going to Tampa and just won't talk to you for a few hours or a few days. Um, it's just the way it is. So chill out. They're not the same as an American woman. An American woman depending on who you are, they're not all bad. Remember that song, uh, American woman, stay away from me, American woman. Oh, going back to my rock and roll days here. Um, they're not all bad. Uh, pretty much everything, they're looking for a man with money, but some of that is just like common sense too. A lot of independent women here, a lot of, uh, uh, marriages don't last son you got the shoes on the wrong feet but don't stand there that's wet life of raising a three-year-old he's three now not two elijah stop before you fall on your butt ski well my point is you know chill out be thankful you went through all that trouble to get her here or whether you went to the philippines to live and you're an expat and you got married over there things are different there actually I'm missing the prices. I went shopping, food shopping yesterday. It's been like a hundred three dollars, and it's That's not a whole Roger. lot of stuff we got. But I left my five dollar coupon That's home. Roger on my head. Yes, I know. You're gonna hear my son talking in the background. So it was freezing here last week. The polar vortex came down. We froze our butts off and put an insulation in our little room. I'm not sure if we want gonna move. The price is right here. It's a little neighborhood. We'll see. What's up with that? And uh, and yeah, your Filipino wife is gonna wanna cook some dried fish once in a while. You don't like to smell? Go outside. Or she can go outside and cook it actually. Uh, hopefully we can get her sister here this year coming. And uh, have patience guys. It's, it's about that patience thing. And if you're like me, you're retired and your wife is working, 
Well, have patience. Uh, my wife comes home. I rub her feet and her legs are killing her. It's just the way it is. And You know, I, I'm 65, guys. I, I've already done a whole lot of stuff. And uh, for you guys who do watch the videos, uh, the algorithm must have changed on YouTube. They're, they're not really doing much with the shorts for a second here, but it's just whatever. I thought about giving up this whole YouTube thing because it's can be annoying sometimes, especially when you watch these guys who actually go to the Philippines first time. 100,000 views first time, and who gives a rat's butt? Good for you, you got lucky, you got one viral. Wow, a friend of mine is there now. He's having little difficulties with his family, but he also drinks too much, but oh, whatever. I'm not gonna mention who that is, but he's a good dude. Anyways, kids, I think they go back to school next week around here. There's been a lot of kids. I hear they cut down the banana trees. I guess they did it every year, according to the guy who did it yesterday. But guys, have patience with your, your Asian wife. Their way of thinking is totally different. Everything, even when they wash dishes, they don't dry them. They just put them up on the rack. That's how it was done in the Philippines. And I'm constantly saying, dry the dishes. I wasted my breath. It doesn't work that way. Well, that was pretty much it. Have patience with your Filipino. Don't complain. Sit back. I mean, I don't actually ever remember my wife's giving me a massage. Neck massage or whatever it is. All I gotta do is say something hurts my wife's massage. There, that's the land of massage there. Her sister, her mother, cousins, anybody. It's just the way it is. If you're hurting, or if you have something serious, next thing you know, they're going to get the... Uh, a massage somewhere and uh, I appreciate my wife mahal, ten, mahal kita to my wife she's a maganda kai and uh, you guys have a great new year's to come stay out of trouble if you drink don't drink too much those days are gone forever over a long time ago Hope you enjoyed the intro. Me making a cup of coffee. All right, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And I try to keep you entertained as much as possible. Oh, and go check out uh, my post about uh, the, the are you subscribed to this channel? Uh, all right, guys. Bye bye.